Hello guys, in this lesson we will start to design the wheel model with the braking system okay and so in order to do that we should split the section of the MATLAB region in here like this one so this is the wheel model in here and so this is only precaution for the users and so we need to create a, this kind of dynamic into what with the damping ratio of our braking system in order to create this model we should use the, this state space representation form okay and so we can copy of these things by using this one the wheel model plus braking system can be given in here okay and so we should revise of our codes by using this formula okay and so this is the our system state space representation with the matrices of the a and vector of b okay and so this mode cannot be changed in time okay because this is the standard form and so we need to revise the A and B matrices in here and what about that matrix and so the A matrix should be revised with the minus C equivalent M equivalent okay and so this is the also the 1 divided by M equivalent okay and so what is the M equivalent in here M equivalent is that the M times R plus J divided by R and so we should define the general constant matrices in here and so the M X is equal to M times R plus J divided by R okay and so the J is in the previous value and the amplitude also in the previous value as well okay and so we changed we have changed uh, these matrices in here and so we need to define the c equivalent value and so, so the c equivalent value f break divided by cb times r okay and so we need to define the cb value in here and cb value for example is chosen to be one and so this is <coughs> should be awesome this should be selected by using the data sheet of the manufacturer related to the, your car braking system models okay and so uh, we need to define the f brake force in here and how can we define this force value and so this force value can be created in the notation of this form the other things that everything is the same with the previous model okay because we have created the state space presentation and the mathematical notation and so this is not change the a and b is not change but the only the parametric coefficients is changed with the system representation okay and so for example in the first place we define the f break value with the parameter of what the 10 newton force okay and so the cb is equal to these things and so this is copied to create the other dynamic models and so if we define this one the whole parameter is the same with the previous equation but the only difference is that this system has a damping ratio and has a breaking force on this system models and so we can compare the whole the models by using to what using the max block in here and so there are 
one velocity value coming from the braking system and so there is one velocity coming from the normal wheel system and so we can add the scope value in here and we can directly observe the how the braking system affects on the system time response okay and if we rerun this program and so the velocity value should be changed in both condition and so what about this in the yellow line gives us the wheel model without the braking system dynamics but in the second place we have a braking factor in here and so our velocity value is in the range of the plus 4 and minus 4 and uh, in conclusion our system has a different velocity value in this case and so we can stop or we can slower we can make a slower system dynamics by using the braking system because this is our velocity value results and so we can also add the position comparison cuts in here like this one if you rerun this program the position value is higher in the first place because there is no damping ratio in this case but in the second place we can observe that this position value is in the within the range of these things because the velocity is going to minus or negative value and the positive value in this case because we have the braking system condition in here and so the energy is lost with the usage of the braking system and so the velocity value is going to what is going to some region or some range okay and so in the second case we should define the torque value as 5 but the amplitude value is equal to 0 which means that the constant torque is applied on the wheel model and so this copy it in order to convert to these things and so this two case is equal to another one but with a small difference the small difference is that this system possessed does not possess the damping ratio but this system does have okay and so if we rerun this program and so the velocity value <coughs> in the first place is going to increasing in time without the braking system notation but in the second place we have a constant speeds in here and so we should check this velocity value like this one 0 0.05 which means that if we have a braking effect on our wheel system and so if we push this constant torque value and then the velocity has the steady state value at the final position okay because if the velocity is increased with time and so the damping ratio is related to the velocity and so the consumption of energy is increasing and so if we push the 5 newton meter torque to the wheel system but we should going to order closer to the some points in the velocity value and what about the position value of our braking system the position value has the increasing notation in here with a constant speed okay this is how we can set the velocity value of our car model for example in the real life application <coughs> if you push the gas pedal and so you can increase the velocity but if you push the F brake notation or the braking system and so we can constant we have the constant velocity value in order to increase or decrease the braking button or pushing the braking button okay and so what about this if we increase the 
f break falls in here if we have choose the 100 newton in here and so the velocity value is smaller than the normal one okay because we have much more higher energy consumption on the wheel dynamics okay this energy converted into the heat energy due to the friction and so we can make the car the slower than the normal one okay and so if we push or if we select these things and then we can initialize the whole the system model like this one but in the real life we don't use in any time the brake condition which means that we should always or well, we shouldn't always push the pedal or the gas pedal or the brake pedal okay and so in order to simulate in the simulink application we can use the t factor in here for example if we have t value with the simulation time and so the five seconds we can use the f brake mechanism is equal to zero but in the other case and so f break can be taken to the 10 value in this time okay and so what about this the time 5 seconds or the we don't push the brake button or the brake pedal until the 5 seconds is passed and so after the 5 seconds we push the pedal on the real life application and so what about the, our time response characteristics under this condition the position value in the 5 should increase in time and so we can push the pedal and so this is the near region but in the velocity value if we don't have any brake and so the car is speeding but if you push the brake button or brake pedal in here in the real life application and so the velocity is dramatically decreased in time and so the constantly going to the steady state value of these things okay this is how we can set the whole car speed application in here these are the end of the lesson and so in the following lessons we can set the correct value of the torque in order to track the reference velocity in the real life application okay have a nice day